It's Bob from Better Music here with a first look at the brand new Boss Next Tone Stage Amplifier. The Next Tone Amplifier, I was actually lucky enough to be sent up to Sydney a couple of weeks ago by Roland Australia, uh, sent to Studios 301 in Alexandria for the Australian exclusive for this amplifier with a, a, a heap of other um, cool people from around Australia, players and people from other stores and things. It was actually a really, really cool day. Uh, what we took out of it was we, we had no idea what was coming. We, we knew there was something, but we didn't know. No one actually knew. So we got into this room, into the big studio room there in Studios 301, and there's this, there's this amplifier and the artist, the 80 watt version. So first impressions of the amplifier when we got to Studios 301 was, okay, what is this? Where, where are they going with this amp? The amplifier itself sits in a very, very particular part of the boss range. They've had this extremely successful run with the Katana. The Katana amplifiers in general, whether it be the Air, the Mini, the 50, the Artist, whatever, they have been so well received in our stores and they're Australia wide, even worldwide, that uh, I don't even think Boss expected to, to sell as many as they have. It's been extremely popular because it's made this incredible sound super accessible for everybody because of the price point. That being said, they had this other range of amplifiers, the Blues range, which a little bit more narrow as far as their, the, the players that they were aiming for and the, the, the buyers they were aiming for. However, the amplifiers themselves sound fantastic and they've got really, really great features. But the, the contrast between these two amplifiers is huge. So where the next tone kind of sits, in my opinion, not Boss's opinion, not anyone else's opinion, my opinion, is that they kind of sit in this kind of middle ground here. So the idea is that it's got a few of the bells and whistles that the Katana has, but it also has this, uh, the dare I say it, the old world charm of the, <laughs> of the blues sounds because the idea of those amps is very niche. You know, country, blues, jazz, those sort of guys. And the Katanas were mainly focused at the rock guys. So this kind of sits in between like the classic rock and blues. It's a really great part of the market to be in as far as I'm, uh, I'm concerned. <laughs> This is a two channel amplifier, so you've got two distinct channels, a clean channel and a lead channel. Typical sort of two channel amplifier like a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, those sort of things. Uh, where this differs from the entire Boss range, but also from other amplifiers that are uh, in that price point and, and this sort of field, is that there are four distinct power amp sections. Now these aren't separate valve power amp sections, I should make this is a solid state amplifier. What this is, is there are four separate analog AB, uh, sorry, four analog class AB analog power amp circuits. That's where I was going with that. So what this gives you is the voicing of EL84s, 6V6s, 6L6s, and EL34s. So if you ask anyone what the, any of these sort of classic players, like classic rock players, what the dream is, it's a Fender Clean and a Marshall Drive, right? Or you get some people who are devout Fender players or people who love the sound of boogies, you know, these sort of things. They, they, what they've done is they've taken these four extremely popular power amp stages and they've put them in one amplifier for you to choose. So what you, you'll see the laptop set up here. This is something I'll, I'll touch on a bit later. If you just use the amplifier as it is in front of you, you can choose one of those four power amp sections to con uh, across both channels of the amplifier. So if you like the sound of the L84s, you'll get it on channel one and two. You've also got a built-in delay and you've got built-in reverb and there's a built-in boost as well. So it's a really cool, versatile amplifier. <laughs> Thank you. 
difference again, and this is a really, really cool feature, and I love Boss for this, is the Tone Studio. So in the Tone Studio, this is a, a rough version of the Tone Studio, but in the Tone Studio itself, you've got these different sections. So there's a boost section in the, the you've got preamp, power amp, and effects. So you've got boost, there's a tone stack, there's an EQ type, or a, sorry, an EQ stack, I should say. And then you've got this ultimate control over here over different frequencies and whatnot. And this is for each channel. You've also got a built-in noise suppressor. If you're using gain pedals and things, you can actually tame them and, and make them chomp really nicely so you don't get feedback or noise. Going into the power amp stage, you've got, this is a bit simpler. You've got the four power amp stages. There is 6V6, 6L6, EL84, and EL34. You've got a low and high cut, and you've also got a bias and sag. So if you want to get that real vintage sort of sound, you can tweak it to however you like it. But the, the real star of the show here for me is this lead sec, uh, this effects section. So in here, you've got delay and reverb. Your typical plate spring and hall reverb with all of your controls, effect level, time, everything there. But in the delay, I love this feature here. So in the delay, there's an SD3000 uh, digital delay. You've got analog delay and tape echo. So if you're a, a blues or a rockabilly player, it will work for you as well. You can get that real classic sort of vintage delay kind of sound, that slapback. But go to the delay and you've actually got a tremolo in here as well so you can assign a tremolo to one of your channels and a delay to another or have tremolo on both delay on both however you want to do it it's a great feature i'll go back here to the preamp stage because in this drop down menu there's something else i want to touch on so you've got a compressor a treble boost a mid boost and a clean boost these can be assigned to each of the two channels as well and they're actually you can access them remotely using the boss gafc foot controller that hooked up to the amplifier brings in the effects and brings in these this boost section and changes channels. It's a really, really uh, flexible foot controller. It works for the katanas, it works for works for everything. It's, it's fantastic. The other thing that I'm really impressed with with this amplifier is the speaker and the response of the speaker. The specific speaker for the amp is called the Next Tone Speaker. It's designed to accentuate and enhance the sounds of all four of those analog power amp sections. So it takes on all of the nuances of those, those classic power amp stages and there are distinct differences between them. So you're not going to turn the, the power amp knob and it says, oh, you know, it doesn't sound like it's changed anything. You can hear a difference and that speaker is a big part of that. I've put it through its paces, playing through, you know, clean sound with the L84, pushing dry pedals. I'm not sure if, if it made to the video or not the boss we did up at Studios 301, but they <laughs> made sure that they brought the, the metal zone, the, the Wazacraft metal zone, and I actually plugged it in and it sounded great through it. So it is a pedal board platform as well. So it's a good, affordable pedal board platform. Okay, so just a, a, a few more features to touch on at the back of the amplifier. So I've got the Boss GAFC controller plugged in here. You can also plug in just a regular single button foot switch or a two button, uh, no, it's the single button foot switch and change between the two channels, just a regular FS5. On the back of the amplifier, there's a series effects loop. You've also got a recording out and a dedicated line out for running direct into PAs. So no more miking up cabs. One thing I am going to, to point out and I really need to hit make this hit home is the four separate analog circuits. This isn't four separate power amp stages. This is four separate analog circuits that are made, that are voiced to sound like these classic power amp stages. So when you send your questions through whatever, there's not four separate power amps in here, it is four analog circuits sounding like these classic power amp stages, just to clear that up. it's going to suit a lot of players it's going to keep a lot of the the, the people who want to simple amplifier it's going to keep them very happy but the, the people i should say that want to get in and customize their own sounds and to tweak everything to the nth degree whether it be your delays your tone stacks whatever everything is in that tone studio for you so there you have it the boss next tone stage 
amplifier. This is one of the two amps in the range at this stage. They do the stage, the 40 watt stage and the 80 watt artist version. We will certainly be getting both amplifiers into stock. If you're keen, get your back orders in, do whatever you've got to do. Uh, come in and see us in store, call us, whatever. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to our friends at Roland Australia. Thank you to Boss and thank you to our friends at Studios 301. Uh, I'm Bob. Any questions, whatever, give us a call. Hit us up in the comments. Come and see us in store. Do what you got to do. Thanks for tuning in and uh, rock on.